Hi guys, so today we're doing voyage estimation. I apologize for the dimension and the quality of this video. I apologize, it was rushed. So now um, the first thing that they asked us in the question on voyage estimation, you can go ahead and screenshot the, the question paper that was at the beginning of this video and put it on your laptop. Use your laptop and your phone to do this calculation simultaneously. So to calculate the total voyage time, we need to know the days at sea and the days at port. So to get the days at sea, we're going to take the amount of nautical miles that was given to us, which is 45, 45 nautical miles. And we are going to divide that by 80 knots. Knots is the speed at which the vessel is going. So with the 80 knots, because we deal with a 24 hour day, just times that by 24 and you'll see how i punch it into the calculator now you're going to do the days at port and an important factor when doing the days at port is to know that you're going to use two different um equations but you should get one answer so on the question paper you see that we're moving thirty-six thousand cargos right and you're going to look on the question paper where it says fiat and you're going to see 7500 metric ton and 8,000 metric ton per day. That is what they load and discharge. So the 7,500 is what was loaded and 8,000 is what was discharged. So here I am punching the figures into um, my calculator. So we're gonna use three decimal place. So the days at sea that equate to 10.521 and then the days at port now we're gonna take the 36,000 metric ton of cargo over the 7,500 which is being loaded and we're going to add that to 36,000 metric ton divided by 8,000 which is being unloaded and that gives us a total of 9.3 so that both of those make days at port so the final answer that we'll have is 19.821 so that is the total voyage time remember guys you i think this is the best way to do it by times in the speed by 24 it just gives you a straight up answer so the next part we're going to take a look into is net freight and how you get the net freight is freight as a grade minus brokerage commission remember guys you look at the screenshot that you took at the beginning of this video so the 36,000 is the amount of cargo that you are loading or unloading, right? And the $42 is the freight that was agreed per metric ton. So here am I showing you right now on the question paper again. So, and the brokerage commission is 2.5% of whatever figure is the 36,000 metric tons times the $42. So this is the answer um, that we got for the first part, which is the freight as agreed. It is 1,512,000. And then we're going to find 2.5% of that 1,512,000. So in the calculator, you just do 2.5 divide by 100 times... 1,512,000 and you're going to take away that from the original figure that you have set down and that's going to come up to let's see here let's just let's just watch it and see how much it comes up to please be patient with me guys i was asked to do this video in a rush my class has exams tomorrow so i'm just doing this for a few of the students because we all it's not one degree and we all need to get it all right, so it's $37,800, right? So therefore, now you're going to get the total net freight. And I want you guys to pay keen attention to the, this, the words net freight. Freight is money, right? Freight is money. So now we're going to move on to gross profit. Gross profit, profit, profit is money, right? You earn profit. 
and I'm going to show you where this is important just in a second. So the gross profit is your net freight minus, minus voyage expenses. You're going to need to get your voyage expenses first. And to get that, you're going to do your port charges plus your cost of fuel. In the question sheet, look at it again, guys. You have IFO at sea, right? And it is 85 metric ton ifo is oil and mdo is oil i think mdo is the engine oil or it's i don't remember don't quote me on that but it's it's oil it's bunker right so they use 85 metric ton and per ton it is 240 dollars and because this happened at sea you're going to take the amount of days that we spent at sea which is 10.521 Right here, I'm highlighting it to you. You're going to use the at sea portion. Do not use the total voyage time or do not use the days at port version. Right? Then you go down to the next one and you get the MDO. You have two MDOs. One is three metric ton that was used at sea and the other one is 4.5 which was used in port. So again, with the MDO at sea, you're going to use the amount of sea days right so the mdo at port now is 4.5 metric ton and it is 245 dollars per ton it is the same about the at sea as well three times 245 dollars right but at port you're going to use the um 4.5 metric ton times 2.45 times the 9.3 days that you spent at port and you're also going to go ahead and add the port charges which is forty thousand dollars that they spent at bahia blanca and fifty thousand which was spent in in durban and that equates to three hundred and twenty two thousand six hundred and I'm not really looking at what that figure is so you still haven't finished the question you know so you're going to take your Take your net freight amount that you got earlier on from your voyage expenses, and this is going to equate to one million one hundred and fifty one thousand five hundred and eighty four dollars point forty one. At this point, you realize that we're no longer working with the three decimal place because we're talking about money, those should have a um, dollar sign on it. So it's important to quote, but I don't think your lecturer will grade you down for going with the full you know three decimal place so now we did gross daily profit which is a gross profit over voyage time that is over your total voyage time and you get your answer so now we're going to do net daily profit which is a gross daily profit minus your running cost your running cost is on your question sheet here the running cost is twenty thousand dollars so you're going to take that away from your gross daily profit that you just got above now we're moving on to your total voyage cost which is your total running cost plus your voyage expenses remember that you did your voyage expenses earlier on right so your total running cost is your twenty thousand dollars times your total voyage time which is 19.821 and then you're going to go ahead and add that to your voyage expenses which was three hundred and thirty two thousand something And this is your answer good luck guys i wish you all the best um thank you for watching this video it's very short but it's what i could do in this time okay so have a good one